Are echoes of the past headaches threatening the melody of your marriage? Join me on a journey into the depths of forgiveness where we untangle the knots of the past, foster profound healing, and forge a resilient, unbreakable bond. Welcome to a transformative exploration where forgiveness becomes the key to unlocking the vault of enduring love in your marriage. You are the vine, we are the branches. Let's have a look at releasing the weight through forgiveness. Forgiveness transcends excusing the wrongs of the past. It's about liberating ourselves from the shackles of resentment. A priceless gift, an act of profound self-love and healing awaits those who embrace it. Our past shapes us in profound ways. It influences the choices we make, the wounds we carry, and the impact we have on others. This is especially true in the realm of marriage. As the ghosts of the past relationships linger, they may threaten the harmony and the joy inherent in the sacred union of marriage. By acknowledging the lingering shadows of the past wounds, we can begin the journey of unraveling their impact together. Communication becomes the key to unlocking the doors of understanding and compassion. Compassion that allows us to see beyond the hurt, to support and heal each other. Through this process, we uncover layers of vulnerability, strength and resilience. Bonds are deepened, fostering a love that surpasses the pain. As we continue to navigate the complexities of our past, let us remember that love has the power to light the darkest corners of our souls. United, we can heal the old wounds, break free from the lingering shadows, and create a future filled with joy, trust, and thriving love. Let's have a look at illuminating forgiveness in marriage. In the sacred union of marriage, the need for forgiveness is paramount. It is a journey that requires empathy, humility, and shared commitment to growth. Empathy enables us to step into our partner's shoes and truly understand their perspective, fostering compassion and understanding. Humility is the crucial ingredient. It humbles us to acknowledge our own shortcomings and compels us to ask for forgiveness when we hurt our spouse. Above all, forgiveness within marriage is deeply rooted in God's example of grace. Just as Christ forgave us, we are called to extend the same grace to our spouse. By illuminating forgiveness within the marital context, we strengthen the bonds of love and create a harmonious foundation for growth and fulfillment. Let's have a look at addressing some deep-seated issues that can affect the well-being of the marriage. Several deep-seated issues from the past as well as ongoing ones can impact the health of a marriage. Understanding and addressing these issues is crucial for fostering a strong and a resilient relationship. Number one, childhood trauma. Unresolved childhood traumas or experiences can manifest in adulthood, affecting one's emotional well being and relationship dynamics. Number two, family of origin dynamics. Patterns and dynamics learned from one's family of origin can influence communication styles, conflict resolutions, and the overall relationship behaviors. Number three, previous failed relationships. Baggage from past relationships, including unresolved emotions or trust, can spill over into a current marriage. Number four, individual mental health challenges. Mental health issues such as anxiety or depression can impact both partners and the overall dynamic of the marriage. Number five, addiction or substance abuse. Past struggles or ongoing battles with addiction can place a significant strain on marriage affecting trust and emotional connection. Number six, unresolved grief or loss whether recent or from the past, can influence how individuals cope with emotions and support each other. Number seven, cultural or religious differences. Varied cultural or religious backgrounds may introduce unique challenges such as conflicting values or expectations. Number eight, personal insecurities. Deep-seated personal insecurities or low self-esteem can impact how individuals perceive themselves and their ability to contribute to the marriage. 
Number nine, past sexual trauma or ongoing sexual issues can affect intimacy and connection within a marriage. Number 10, unfulfilled dreams or expectations. Unrealized personal dreams or unmet expectations, whether related to career, lifestyle, or personal achievements can contribute to feelings of dissatisfaction. Addressing these deep-seated issues often require open communication, empathy, and in some cases, professional assistance through counseling or therapy. Couples who navigate these challenges together with patience, understanding, and commitment to personal and relational growth often build a stronger and more resilient marriage. What's the proactive healing journey of forgiveness? You may ask. Healing is not a linear process. It takes time, effort, and understanding. But with the power of forgiveness, wounds can become scars and scars can become testaments to the strength of your love. We have the Holy Spirit and we are to ask him to help us to forgive and release past hurts so that we can experience emotional healing. Neglecting this process may trigger old wounds during conflicts with our spouse. Let's look at some of the scriptures and reflect on them. Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 13. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Let's reflect on the depths of God's forgiveness in our own lives and consider the freedom and peace that comes from extending the same forgiveness to our spouse. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Let's contemplate the kindness and tender-heartedness demonstrated by God's forgiveness. How can we embody these qualities in our interactions with our spouse, fostering a spirit of forgiveness? 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for this you were called, that you may obtain a blessing. Let's explore the transformative power of blessing our spouse, even in the face of adversity. Let's consider how choosing to bless can break the cycle of negativity and lead to blessings in return. Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 to 15, for if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Let's ponder on the reciprocal nature of forgiveness. How does forgiveness align with our desires to receive forgiveness? Let's use this reflection to cultivate a forgiving heart. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Let's consider the power of gentle responses in diffusing tension. Let's reflect on instances where choosing a soft answer might lead to resolution and promote harmony. Let's have a look at the ongoing practice of forgiveness. Forgiveness is a continual practice. As couples, let's regularly check in with each other, revisit the principles of forgiveness, and actively choose love over resentment. Colossians chapter 3 verse 14 says, Above all this, put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Remember, a resilient marriage is not free from challenges, but it is fortified by the courage to face those challenges and overcome them together. Let's embrace forgiveness as a powerful instrument to release the past hurts, nurture healing, and sculpt a future filled with shared joy. In the words of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. 
May we continue to keep God as the center of our marriages and allow him to lead us and guide us always. Please feel free to check my video on the gift of prayer for our loved ones. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, share it with others and subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content. Stay blessed. The giver of life.